Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Please subscribe. The button's down there. Can you see it? On your right. Right there. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're laying down and you're comfortable and everything is just right in your room. You're ready to relax and let go of your day. Relax enough to fall asleep and sleep and have sweet dreams all night long, hopefully. Let me tell you a story. There was a giraffe called G, short for giraffe. G was almost mature enough to turn black. Let me explain. G was nine years old. He lived in Kenya and his bestest friend was a white giraffe called Snowy. G had been waiting and waiting and waiting until he was nine for all of his light spots to turn black. He just thought that that would be the coolest thing in the entire world. A black giraffe. A black giraffe with a white giraffe friend. How awesome would that be? The problem was, it seemed like G had been waiting that long and patience was not his virtue. It was not something that he was good at. It was the most annoying thing in the world to have to keep waiting. Every day he would wake up and check his spots. And every day he thought they were getting just a little bit darker. But then he would ask Snowy and Snowy would go, "Mm, No, I think they kind of look the same. He was so disappointed. G would spend his days eating and eating and walking and sometimes playing but mostly eating and eating and eating as giraffes tend to eat at least a hundred pounds worth of food a day that meant a lot of leaves a lot of vines a lot of flowers lots of shrubs lots of possible fruit that was a lot of eating to get a hundred pounds worth of food So most of the time he was eating. And did you know that giraffes barely drink? They don't drink very much at all. They rely on getting the water from the dew off the leaves of the trees and the water content of their food. So he would barely drink, but sometimes he would drink. But when he had a drink, he couldn't reach because his neck was at least six feet long. And his legs were at least six feet long. That meant his body and his legs added up to more than his neck. So when he had a drink, he had to open his legs and almost do the splits with his front legs. Or he had to bend down. Giraffes really don't like to do that very much. So he barely drank. G very rarely sat down. They don't really like to sit down either. So most of the time, he spent his long days trying to pass on the time until he became nine years old to the point where, hopefully, all of his spots would magically turn black. He would just eat and eat and eat and eat. G also had a problem with sleeping. Well, all giraffes have a problem with sleeping. They barely sleep. They can sleep for five minutes in a 24-hour period. That's it. Just five minutes of sleep. And then they don't take the five minutes all at once. They tend to take one-minute little naps. So that's only five minutes out of 24 hours that he could forget about his spots turning black. It was ridiculous. He felt like he'd been waiting for his spots to turn black since he was five years old. That's four long years. He said to Snowy, I don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't think my spots are ever going to turn black. 
It seems like the days turn into weeks and the weeks turn into months and the months turn into years and I'm still not changing. I'm nine this birthday. That means I should definitely get my black spots. Snowy said, maybe if you forget about your black spots or that your light spots are supposed to turn black. Or that it's supposed to happen when you're nine years old. How about you just forget all of that? Try and forget. Because when you're impatient and you're waiting for something to happen and you're thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about it all the time, pacing back and forward because you're having such a hard time with being patient, it just makes it 10 million times worse, G. How about you just forget? How about you promise me today that every time you think about your black spots, you're going to change your thinking. Change it into something completely different. Tell me something that you can change your thinking into. Hmm, said G. Maybe I could think about those berries. Those berries on the tree do distract me a little bit. There you go, said Snowy. What else? Hmm, maybe I could think about how awesome it is to have light spots instead of always wishing to have dark spots. (gasps) There you go, said Snowy. That's even better because then you're happy with the situation as it is right now in this moment. You're not having to think about it changing and waiting for it to change. You're happy with your spots right now in this moment. That's even better. What else? Hmm, said G. Did you know that our hearts weigh 25 pounds? I could think about giraffe facts. That's always interesting. Snowy said, 25 pounds? Yep, 25 pounds. That's a big heart. We have big hearts. Did you know that? Snowy said, well, I do now. What else? Tell me another fact. Hmm. Did you know that we can grow to be 19 feet tall and weigh up to 2,800 pounds? No, said Snowy, but I do now. Keep thinking about facts. Keep thinking about berries. Keep thinking about anything that you need to think about to distract your mind so that the time goes by quicker and you can be more patient. G did this. He seemed to do it for days, for weeks, for months. And the time did actually go by. He stopped thinking about his spots changing to black, even though it would have been the coolest thing in the world. He would have been black and his friend would have been white. They would have looked so cool together. And eventually, six months later, one fine morning, G was reaching up tall into the trees, sticking out his long black tongue, trying to get the tiniest little leaves, the sweetest ones with all the morning dew on them. When Snowy came up behind him and said, Well, I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. I cannot believe it. G turned around and looked at Snowy and said, What? Snowy said, G, your spots have turned black. They've gone from light to dark. They're black. They're like coal black. G looked down at his tummy, turned his big neck around and looked down on his back. I don't believe it, said G. I do not believe it. It happened. And it happened because I just let it go. I stopped thinking about it every single moment of the day. And before you know it, I didn't even notice anymore that I was thinking about it. And then it just came. 
You know, like when you're waiting for Christmas, or you're waiting for your next birthday, or you're waiting for going on holiday, and you think, oh, okay, I've got 300 more sleeps, and you count every single sleep, and it seems to take forever and ever and ever before you finally get to Christmas or your birthday or your holiday. It was like that. But thanks to you and your advice, Snowy, I let it go. I just let it go. I thought about the berries. I thought about other things. I thought about maybe taking a one minute nap. I thought about playing and wrestling with you. I thought about eating the flowers. I thought about anything but my spots turning black. And then it happened! Snowy said, Well, look at us. We look so awesome together. Like yin and yang. Black and white. Opposites attract. How cool is this? G was the happiest giraffe in the world. Now that his spots were very dark, it showed the rest of the giraffes how mature he was. And he loved the fact that his friend was completely the opposite. After that lesson about patience with Snowy, G took everything in his stride. He just decided to distract himself whenever there was something that he was excited about or he was waiting for. He just couldn't help himself. He needed it right now in this moment. He would just take a breath and remember to distract his mind. Think about something completely different. Be okay with being in the moment. Not trying to pass on time. Not trying to jump into the future. Not trying to hurry up time so it disappears so you can get what you want. He just would distract himself and be in the moment. It worked. G was now a very patient giraffe thanks to Snowy, and maybe the fact that he was nine and now he was very mature with his dark spots. The end. Let's settle down, close your eyes if you haven't done so already. Let's see if we can relax the bestest that we've ever relaxed in a long, long time. Allow your shoulders to get nice and heavy and sleepy. Relax your chest. Notice how when you breathe out, your chest gets all soft and relaxed. Let your head get really, really heavy on your pillow. Soften all the muscles in your face. Take a nice big deep breath. Maybe a sigh. (sighs) And let go of your day. Imagine your bed is like the comfiest, softest, fluffiest, giant marshmallow. It's warm and snuggly and cozy and you feel very safe and protected. Maybe you have all your stuffies around you, your soft toys, all of your giraffes and you're ready to have sweet dreams all night long safe in your bed, protected by all of your friends around you. Relax your legs and your arms. Allow your toes, your ears, your nose to get sleepy. Relax your tummy. 
Soften all the muscles in your body. Let everything get limp and soft as if it's melting into your bed. So, so comfortable. Let go of everything about your day. Take no thought. Don't think about anything right now except this big, soft, fluffy marshmallow bed. And how safe you are and warm and comfortable. And just relax. Let your whole body relax. Relax.